Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick settings guide for grey zone warfare. Now this video is tailored specifically for those of you with lower system builds, including users with 10 series, 20 series and even 30 series graphics cards. Now typically we wouldn't classify a 30s or even a 20 series card as a lower end build. However, due to the current state of optimization in this game, it seems like these cards may need some tweaks to run smoothly until we get some more optimization updates. Firstly, this video won't promise a leap from 20 FPS to 140 FPS. Instead, I'm going to be honest, our goal is to achieve a maximum of 60 FPS while minimizing input lag. I've spent a lot of time experimenting with various settings. Ironically, my time in grey zone has been more about tweaking settings than actually enjoying the game. Currently, I'm using a 3070 Ti with a Ryzen 7 3700X with 32 gig of RAM, also running at 1440p. All right, that's enough talking. Let's get into the settings. All right, so we're in settings. Let's go over it. Window mode, we want to put this in windowed. Display resolution, set this to whatever your native resolution is of your monitor. Vertical FOV, set this to however you want to do it. If you want it on 70, 75, whatever, I have mine on 60. Brightness, contrast, saturation, gamma. This is totally up to you. This is what I've got. This is what I like. Uh, you can change it to whatever you want to do. Frame rate limit. This is where we want to set this to 30 FPS. Don't set it to 60. Don't set it to 120. Again, in this video, we're aiming to get 60 FPS with low input lag, as low as possible. Quality. Set this, I would say probably max all to medium. But again, play around with it. These are my settings here. Post processing, I have low. Motion blur should be none. Colorblind, if you want to play around with that, go for it. I have mine on off. Anti-aliasing, I have mine set to FSR. Then if we come down, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, set that to on and boost. But again, play around with it, set it to on. See if it makes it better, it might make it worse. I have mine on on and boost. Frame generation, set that to on. Super resolution, native AA. Now, why we're aiming for 60 FPS with frame generation on, if I was to cap this to let's say 60 or 120, with frame generation on, you get a lot of input lag. You can really feel it when you move left and right, it makes shooting really hard. But if we set it to 30, it gives us 60 FPS and the input lag is much, much lower. You can still feel it, but it's much lower than having it at 60 or 120. So they're my settings. That's what's been working for me. It still looks really blurry, this game, and that's the biggest issue I have. You can play with sharpening. I have mine set to 120. You can go up higher if you wanted to, but having it at zero, it's much more blurry. So I set mine to about 120, but it's still not perfect. But any of these sort of settings, FSR, XESS, TSR, DLSS, it's all going to give you some type of blurriness. That's what these anti-aliasing effects do to the games. And until we can completely turn it off, we're gonna have some sort of blurriness. If you did like this video and found it helpful, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down, that's perfectly fine. Comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.